What's up guys, Power Player Paul here, and I have Lisa returning to uh, do a pickup video with me. These pickups were before Christmas, during Christmas, and right after Christmas. And if you're watching this video, that means it is already 2016, so... Happy, Happy New, New Year! Year. <laughs> Alright, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with the pickups. All right, so this was from a couple weeks ago now. Uh, went to my first Goodwill, and they had a old school first party Nintendo 64 Rumble Pack. Uh, does not does not have battery corrosion in there. 4.99, a little high for me, but yeah, I, I think I have a Rumble Pack, but it's not first party. And then I picked up some Game Boy games. First, the Game Boy Color game. We have Cubert. All right, then we have uh, my next video. Uh, next game here is Super Mario Land, the original for two ninety nine. I have the second one, I think, now with the golden coins, and now I have that one. And I have this for the NES, but not for the Game Boy. We have Doctor Mario for two ninety nine. And then the last pickup for the, that first Goodwill was uh, Columns for the Genesis. Which was also two ninety nine. Kind of hard to open there. No manual, but there's the game. It looks pretty nice. And all that was around my change, twenty bucks. Oh, and before I forget, this was supposed to be my last pickups video, but I picked up that Resistance Fall of Man Chimera uh, for four dollars and twenty five cents. He's pretty cool. I'm going to leave him in the packaging for now, but he's from Resistance 2, it looks like, there. But, uh, very cool. Something cool to spruce up the game room. Alright, so then I went to the third Goodwill that day. Picked up another copy of Wii Sports. And that is complete with the, the game. I think it has a few scratches, but I don't think it's too bad. And then... So that's going to be sell. This one for keeps here. Lego Pirates of the Caribbean. And that is complete. I'm looking minty. And those were a two for five deal. Uh, $5.27 after tax. All right. Then that evening, it was kind of slim pickings. Uh, oh, actually, this one was not too bad here. Um, we picked up, I picked up Namco Museum. Believe it or not, I don't have this for the PS2 yet. Greatest hits, but whatever. Doesn't matter to me. Um, cool thing is you can play stuff like Pac-Man and Galaga on here. Galaga. I have this for the DS, but not the PS2, but there you go. Adding that to the collection. And uh, apparently it's just like a Smash Bros. clone with the Turtles, but Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, Smash Up. And this is actually the comic book, not the manual. It has the game, so it's missing the manual, but uh, still pretty cool. But uh, I think you got relatively decent reviews. I mean, it's not as good as Smash Bros, but um, still pretty cool. So I got that. Oh, and probably one of the coolest pickups of the evening was this guy, the Wolverine. Say something, Wolverine. <laughs> and he's so awesome. Like uh, you can make him swing, and then you can put his claws in. Sounds like a punching. You retract his claw. Swing. Pretty cool. He has a few sayings. Well, that's some growls. I'm the best there is at what I do. That's right. You are. All right. So we're gonna put Wolverine over here. Very cool. And then. Uh, found two copies of this. She has a copy, or been trying to sell a copy of this for a while, and it has not sold. But then I saw like a couple weeks ago, another one did sell for around $15. So I don't know if we're going to sell these or not, but I found two copies of Saturday Night Speedway. Uh, I, I think this is like, I found four or five copies of this now. This one's complete, and this one is just... Uh, I guess a blockbuster has the blockbuster or movie movie gallery thing on top. But uh, anyway, 
So those were two for five. That was five dollars and twenty-seven cents. Oh, and the last pickup. This was a really good deal. She actually charged CD prices for these two games, and Wolverine was a dollar twenty-five, four dollars for all these. So not bad. All right, and then that Friday went back out, picked up a few Xbox 360 games and a DS game. Uh, got B17. What was it? Fortress in the Sky. Anyway, got that for the DS. Picked up the following Xbox 360 games. We've got Homefront. Don't know much about it. I found the strategy guide not too long ago. I don't think I picked it up though. Uh, Need for Speed. The Run. Limited Edition. Uh, does not look like it has a manual. It does have a game. And then we've got the Green Lantern. Uh, Rise of the Manhunters. I don't know. I might sell this one. I haven't looked at the reviews on this one. If it's anything like the movie, then I'll probably sell it. But if it's any good, I'll, I'll play it. Alright, so this was right after Christmas. Alright, so this one Goodwill. They have they had a few N64 games in there. And they were way overpriced. All of them were like 20 bucks. This one was only five bucks, four ninety nine. All right. I thought this was a red sticker. Apparently, this is pink. I, but so I need to see a red one. I mean, I thought that I would assume that it was red, so I was thinking I was going to get this for half off. Uh, one I don't have, but I didn't want to pay five bucks for it. But oh bother. Whatever. Tickers, Honey Hunt, uh, for the Nintendo sixty four. Yeah. Well. Oh. All right, then we found uh, these. Now, what sucks about this is somebody got to these games before I did. So we had Duel Masters for the PS2, but not really. No game, no manual. But in case I come across the game, sure, then I'll have it complete. This one I was really bummed that it was not inside. Beautiful Joe 2 for the PlayStation 2. At least it has the manual, but no disc. Uh, but, so, hopefully I'll run across that disc one day and be able to complete this. And then the one that was not, was complete, and uh, I don't know anything about this. It is Zach Bell Mamoto Fury. I guess it's like a fighting game, sort of. I don't know. Anyway, it's complete. Looked pretty interesting, and it was uh, $2.99. One of those crazy Japanese games. All right, at another Goodwill, this was four ninety nine. Yeah, has not been opened. It's an Assassin's Creed um, Black Flag Hidden Blade. Hidden Blade. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> it's a Hidden Blade, and uh, it has not been opened. Well, it has, but it's it's still all inside there just yeah hasn't been undone and everything and put together so I'll probably just leave this like that for display in the room or something all right and then just the other day went to second and Charles we were up that way and we stopped off and I picked up the following I tried this one out. The disc looked a little bit messed up, but uh, I decided to try it anyway because apparently this game is closer to like 20 bucks complete. We got Castlevania Curse of Darkness for the PlayStation 2. As you can see there, I paid $9 for it. No manual, unfortunately, but I don't care. It's the game. Uh, my PS2 collection is lacking some Castlevania uh, goodness. So there we go. Hate these stickers. They have that metal stuff, so that's gonna be a pain to get off. 
All right, we have Guilty Gear X for the PlayStation 2. Got that for seven dollars. I think it goes for about nine or ten. That is complete. Cool fighting game I've heard. And then uh, I thought I already had this from the Game Cube. I have another. I think Sarge's War or something. But this is Army Men RTS for the Game Cube, and I picked that up for just three dollars. Which I think this one goes for nine or ten bucks. So that was a pretty good deal on that one. Probably the best deal of all three of them. And uh, the the game and the manual and everything's in there, and it looks pretty mint. So there we go. And then drum roll, please. Christmas. All right. What we got for Christmas? So. I got a really cool Halo 5 watch. Um, I've been needing a watch for a while. I've been looking at my phone. Uh, but pretty cool here. There was a theme, though, that I realized once I got this. And here it is. I got Halo 5. Guardians, limited edition, has the little metal figure, it's going to take a while to assemble it looks like, but uh, has that, the game, um, and some unlockable content, and then here's the cool part of Christmas here, we got an, I got an Xbox One Fallout 4 edition, so here is the game. And she and I have been playing the crap out of this game. This is so fun. What have you been? How have you been enjoying Fallout 4, Lisa? It's very addictive. Very addictive. Yep. We ran across our her, our first super mutants the other day, and <laughs> that was uh, that was crazy, right? Yeah. Just explosions everywhere. But she has not played uh, any of the previous Fallout's yet, so she's. I'm really enjoying. It. I've I'm really enjoying it now too. She and I've I think she still has a few more a couple hours more invested in it than what I do, so she's a little bit further ahead. But um, really enjoying this game, especially the aspect of uh, building up your cities and towns and their defenses and their water and food and and the power am armor stuff is really awesome. So yeah, upgrading your stuff, really cool stuff. But anyway, I will now let Lisa take it away. And for my portion of the pickups, I got a Indiana Jones and Kung Fu Panda Xbox 360 game. It has the manual as well as both discs. <laughs> there you go. Um, which I thought was pretty cool because I haven't seen a game that has both of them inside. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. And both of discs look pretty clean on that one, as I remember. Yeah. Um, and then the next one, I got a Yu-Gi-Oh! Right there. It looks pretty awesome. But there is a catch. There is something missing. Yeah. I actually have found a copy of... I found it, like, uh, I don't know, about a month or two ago, of just the game itself, The Duels of the Roses. So I'll put that in there to complete, and uh, we'll put that one up for sale. And then I found another Yu-Gi-Oh! with the catch itself. This one has the disc, but not the manual. Yeah. And that one's a uh, capsule. Capsule, I don't even, capsule Monster Coliseum. Yeah. And uh, that one's going to be up for sale as well. Because already, we already have that one. Yeah. Okay, and then the next one I got is just a, a NASCAR for the PS3. Um, NASCAR is pretty cool. Yeah, I yes. enjoy NASCAR. I love watching NASCAR. What was NASCAR. the other one? I used to play that with my brother. Um, Gran Turismo. Gran I used Turismo. to play that with my brother. Yeah. But this one I like way more. I like Mario Kart the best. I don't really so much like the Wii version. As the much Wii as U the version. The Wii U version. I love the Wii U version. And we love Double Dash too. Yeah. Well, no, I love it, but he won't play with me. 
because he gets mad. So you mean is. the Wii U version? The Wii U version and uh, the 3DS version. No, no, I like playing the 3DS version. With you. Oh, you do? Well, then let's yeah. play it later. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're yeah. on. <laughs> but that one, we already have that one, so that one's going to be for sale. That one's what was, what, $5.99? Yeah. Um, yeah. $5.99, but uh, the other ones I think were like 3 bucks. But actually, we got the cases, um, and I forgot to say that in my part, too, the, the cases that I got, um, these were free, so... Okay, then the next one I got is Bass Pro Shops The Strike. God, this lighting is not working. Well, this one is actually <laughs> factory sealed, so it's got a gloss to it. Um, yeah. So if anybody likes fishing, yeah. There you go. <laughs> fishing on the Wii. <laughs> um, and I also got a Wii Sports. Mine is uh, awkwardly boxed. Yeah, someone <laughs> apparently cut off the back of it. But it um, it comes with this. The and manual. It comes with this, so it works out. <laughs> yep. So there you go. Okay. Um, then I also got two toys by Masters of the Universe. The first one is Skeletor. That's really cool. The boxes are a little dinged up, but. Uh... For five ninety nine, I thought it was worth the risk to to get them. Yeah. Um. So well, we got Skeletor, and then we also got He Man, which are two of the more popular versions of it. So yeah, you got the villain that, and the the hero. Yeah, I think that they would be a pretty good combination. Yeah. Yeah. Um. And then I guess for my Christmas present that is game related, I got Rune Factory Four. From this guy. Oh yeah. <laughs> this guy, yeah. Yep, and I've been kind of playing it a little bit. Uh, <laughs> count several hours a little bit. She's really enjoying it. I'm glad that she did. All right, guys, that concludes the pickup portion of the video. Uh, really cool stuff we got for Christmas and around the Christmas season. I hope you guys enjoyed your Christmas, got some cool stuff, or whatever holiday you celebrate, if it's Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever. Um, hope you got some cool stuff. Uh, and I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'd like to thank Lisa for joining me. Yeah, I'm glad that I could finally come back to you guys. It's been a while. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully this year I'll get up some better pickups. Better yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, very cool. I guess uh, we'll see you guys in the new year, 2016. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Bye, guys.